Hello everybody and welcome to my fifth HTML tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to teach you how to put styling onto your text. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one of these headers underlined. So let's go for this middle H2 one. So go into our code and then it's very simple. We just put it in the underline tag which is U and then the end U so let's just put that over there and then when we save this and go over to our web page press refresh and then it's just going to underline it for us there and then similarly if we want to make something bold so let's go into our text and then let's say we want to put in a bold tag here so bold tag is just B and then within here anything we write in here is going to be bold so this is bold text save and then in here refresh and then you'll notice that our bold text text is is showing up now as bold and then similarly down here let's put in some italics so italics is just i and then this is slanty press save refresh here and then it's going to go, this is slanting, it's going to be in our italics. Let's just put a space in there because otherwise it's going to annoy me. There we go. So what you might notice is where our other tags we've been using all put them down onto the next line. These ones are all what we call inline tags or inline elements. And so they'll just sit within our paragraphs or within our titles they won't create a new line and they'll just do formatting only uh, so there's a concept that we'll come on to in more detail later uh, but it's quite an important one to remember which tags are in line uh, but which ones are at block level so the only other thing I want to show you in this tutorial is what if I want this to actually uh, I don't want it to just be italic I want it to be bold as well so this is quite easy you just embed the bold tags around so create a bold tag and then at the end of it create an end bold tag press save and then refresh and then it's going to be bold and slanty so let's just put this as bold and slanty save refresh this is bold and slanty uh, and then finally just if you want to do all three, put an underlined at the beginning and then at the end put another one and then all three of them are going to be bold and slanty. Now you don't necessarily have to have your tag tags grouped together, uh, The you can actually, so if we put this and move this over here and press save and then it's going to underline that to the end as well so only part of our underline section is bold and slanty not all of it so just play around with it and just bear in mind anything within those underline tags bold or italic tags they're all going to show up as bold underlined or italic so that's it for this tutorial and the next tutorial I'm going to show you how you do uh, bullet pointed lists so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon